LUTs and lookup tables. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the new way to manage and sync your LUTs within DaVinci Resolve 17. So there's a few tips and tricks that you might not know about the color page and LUTs. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what is this new workflow that you speak of? Well, let me show you. In order to start syncing your LUTs and have it update really quickly, go to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, go to the General tab, LUTs Locations and add a folder. Now this folder is going to be where you're going to drag all of your new LUTs and when you drag your LUTs to this location, it will automatically sync to this LUTs folder here, super quickly. So if multiple people are working on a project and they want to add a LUT to your workflow, all they need to do is drag that LUT to that specific folder that you specified and it will appear here. So we're about to do that now. This is the folder that I've created and I'm about to drag my new LUT pack. Yes, my new LUT pack is sensational. It's called Art Guardian into this pack. So I'm going to drag it right here into Brandon Arc LUTs. Close. Now all I need to do is right click and press refresh. It's straight like that. You can see straight away it's right here, Art Guardian. And we have all of our looks literally right here. It is. Oh, look how nice it is. This is my new LUT pack, guys. Yep, it looks sensational. Another thing that you may not know is you can preview multiple looks at the same time. So say, for example, I wanted to preview three or four looks. I would click this button here, which is a split screen. I'd go to the right hand side and change it to selected LUTs. Now all I need to do is highlight different LUTs. And just like that, you can see that we're previewing all of my different LUTs. And not only this, but I know Blackmagic Design have been doing some craziness because look, I can play it back in real time and it's smooth. This is literally mind blowing to me. It's playing back smooth whilst previewing back all of the different LUTs that I've included in my pack. And not only can you do it for two, three, four clips, you can do it for six, you can do it for eight. You can actually go up to about 16 clips, I believe, which is insane. And look, <laughs> oh, oh, we started to choke now. It's a bit too much for the system to handle. But you get, oh no, look, we're playing the back. So as you can see, you can actually audition, if you will some of the grades that you want. And if you want to update your folder and add more LUTs, all you need to do is navigate to this folder that you specified, drag it in and voila. Something else I found which is pretty interesting as well is say for example, if I have multiple folders open. So say for example, I open up this. Oh, these LUTs don't look as good as mine. But let's say for example, I have all of these. But watch when I press refresh, look what happens. All of the folders that were currently open closes. And this is absolutely great because it's much easier for file management and it's much faster to then navigate to the pack that you want. But yes, this is how you import and sync LUTs into Vintage Resolve. Not only this, but this Guardian LUT pack that you can see I'm showing off right here, I'm actually going to put it on my store right now. And for 24 hours, I'm going to have it 50% off. So I'm literally going to put this pack up for 50% for 24 hours since this video goes live. So if you get it, let me know. I'd love to see your videos of it. Mm -mm, it's looking quite sensational. What's going on guys, it's me from the future here. I'm just editing. I forgot to tell you how you can actually create your own LUTs. And not only this, but how you can dial in the strength of any LUT that you own or that you're using from somebody else's pack. So let me show you how to do that. First things first, I'm going to show you how to dial in the intensity and strength from a LUT that you've downloaded or that you've created. So say for example, I use... Um, say for example, I use this LUT here, right? So you can see... That's before, this is after the LUT is enabled. How you can actually dial the look of the LUT down is by going to the key and tab. I've briefly gone over this before. If you navigate down here and find where it says key, you can see it says key output. You can see it says key output and this essentially works like an opacity slider. So one would be the effect to 100%. And if I drag this down, you can see the intensity of the LUT is basically decreasing. So if I put this all the way down to zero, you can see that the effect is completely gone. If I put all the way to one, you can see that I've basically got the full effect of the LUT. So if you really wanted to dial in how much of the effect that you want onto your image or your video, you can just go to the key output and adjust this strength and intensity. How to save your own LUTs. So essentially, once you've spent a lot of time navigating and creating a stylized look that you want, I'm going to quickly do one here. Okay, say for example, we've done this look here. We want to save this as a LUT. What we need to do is as follows. Make sure clips is enabled. So go to the tab here and click clips. You'll see that all of the clips in your timeline are here. Find the clip that's currently selected, right click and go down to generate LUT. Then click 33 points cube and it will ask you to put down where you want to save it. Generally, it would be smart to save it in the folder that you introduced before where you want to sync your LUTs. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to title this memes. Click save. 
Once you've done that, all you need to do is go to your lots folder, which is here in DaVinci Resolve, right click, press refresh. If I scroll down, you can see it's literally right here. Look, memes. So now if I delete all of these and I just drag this lot on, bang, you can see we have our lot saved and finished. So let's get back to the tutorial. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. I'm going to be making a lot more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.